NRF brings together the top talent and technology for retailers. You can't have great technology and not support it with people. And you can't have great people and not support them with technology. So that's what I love about NRF, because you learn about all of the technology and new things that are happening. Walking the expo floor, see, sitting in the sessions, there's definitely a nervousness around what's coming. Having really rich conversations in a lot of the sessions about how people are going to lead into a bit of a tougher financial uh, year, I think is, is good and smart and that will be helpful for the retailers that are here. So psyched to be here at NRF 2023. Retail is back, baby. What we're hearing now from everybody are challenges around skill shortages, wage inflation, supply chain issues, inflation generally, and we are doing our best to help fill some of those gaps. Last 30 months, you've seen growth within the uh, within the four walls of a retailer. Um, some of the big things that they're using to do that is, is the technology to, again, service the customers better and, and create a better experience because customers are demanding that, right? Every retailer that's out there now has to make sure that not only is, is their inventory visible at the store, but they have a way to capture that sale. So everybody's out here really looking for solutions to, to complete that mold to, uh, again, make sure they're competitive for, for, the, uh, for the next two to three years. As retailers are modernizing their technology platforms, we're seeing a lot of adoption of uh, cloud. Are customers able to accelerate cloud the way they want to? What kind of a dependency they have on external partners? That's a challenge. Second one is labor shortages in the stores. Uh, we see that as an increasing trend. The expectations from uh, store associates is increasing. So we're designing a lot of systems to be able to help the store associates in addition to helping customers uh, navigate through uh, the dot-com applications, etc. I think personalization will continue to be a big mover. People want to basically get things their way, customize. Um, you know, the days of one to two day delivery have now moved to one day to how many hours does it take to get. So I think that hyper customization is going to continue. I think, autom you know, automated intelligence or AI is really driving a lot of the engagement uh, with retail. You'll see it in our booth when it talks about uh, robots and what they do to help in the fulfillment process. So I think we'll see more and more amplification of that, both from the storefront to the back of the house. Trends we hear is, is connecting the entire team, communication amongst the frontline associates, uh, QR codes and engaging with customers has been very important, and also um, connecting your associates to the right experts throughout your organization. I think the main challenges that retailers are facing actually stems with coming out of COVID. We're now a couple years removed, but yet there are still not only technology gaps and infrastructure gaps in their businesses, but also gaps in creating real human experiences and connecting back to the actual customers that they serve. We want to make this the year of the frontline employee experience. We want to make sure that the employees that are in the stores and across the store network have a, a great experience so they can spend their time focused on the customer experience. The thing we've been hearing most about our customers is how retailers actually pressed from two different angles. Firstly, there's the raising, raising inflation, raising interest rates and mortgage rates, and thus dropping purchase power of their customers, the consumers. Secondly, there's the cost inflation that they are facing and roughly every one of our customers they want to be managing that well increasing the efficiency of their operations having the ability to be the last to increase prices and pass that cost to the customers because they are being pressured on their own economies uh, with all the inflations and the uh, rise of the cost of goods uh, we see the need to drive operational efficiency uh, in that perspective retailers will continue and look for a lot of ways to reduce cost of operation. Fraud has been on the rise uh, in retail, unfortunately, over the last few years, uh, and retailers are really looking to address those concerns. The pain points for retailers are, there's a lot of additional e-commerce purchases that are happening, so buy online and with the desire to pick up in store. That's a pain point of how do you do that efficiently for both the consumers and also for the associates within the store. We're back at NRF after three years away because of COVID um, to meet our customers, to meet prospects, uh, to meet colleagues in the industry um, and to show all of the new technology that we've been developing over the last couple of years. As a result of the pandemic, 
we see an acceleration of some trends that were occurring pre-pandemic. Mobile use, digital use, self-service use, all of these things have been accelerated. And what we find is that with the combination of other macro trends, retailers are really, really needing solutions to all of their new journey types, especially in the area of self-service. And that's what we're here to show. Time and time again, we're seeing a multitude of issues. One, we're seeing supply chain. Pretty obvious, but we're seeing quite a bit of that. We're seeing inflation. One thing hitting it for the cost structure that retailers are facing. Also for the spending power that people have around this as well. So the number one thing we're seeing time and time again, we talk with retailers, is profitability as the main KPI. What are they able to do around making the business more profitable? We're seeing a, a pretty strong convergence of business models, but it all comes down to how do you drive the best value for your customers? You know, we see a lot of focus on, on two sides of the house, if you will. So on the commerce side of the house and making sure that stores are a great experience as consumers come back to stores. But then also on the inventory side, just making sure that the right inventory is available and that it makes it to those stores for when those shoppers get there. The reason why we're at NRF this year is we're just glad to be a part of the retail community, get back out in front of people, listen about what's going on with retailers and hear from our clients what problems they're dealing with and how we can best solve. It's been phenomenal. It's actually my first time at NRF. So just the energy that's here, um, the great uh, relationships and partnerships and the people that I've met so far, it's just really, really uh, inspiring that people are getting back out and getting back in front of their customers and, and their vendors. I think this show is really all about how retailers are going to really find down to earth solutions to address all those challenges versus finding a lot of, um, you know, maybe shiny objects to be interested in and, and possibly distracted like in past NRS. But I think this time where everyone is really keen on how can I make the business better and more efficient and productive. Being here, meeting our customers, being with our team in, in, in a physical environment, I just think it's incredible and we're loving it. As always, NRF sets the tone for what happens and what priorities uh, really the industry has. and. That's ultimately what we believe our role is, is to help make sure that the industry and retail thrives and prospers. And it starts with the conversations at NRF every year, and I couldn't be more excited to be here. NRF is great because you have over 35,000 people all in one place talking about innovation and making retail better. And that's just super energizing. And also just seeing all the uh, passionate vendors out there and retailers from all over the world that come with the spirit of wanting to make a difference is pretty special. As a brand, you know, part of what completes your brand identity is like who you are and then that promise you deliver. And, um, you know, we make great clothes for, you know, everyday life that are versatile and have great value to them. But at the end of the day, clothes play a really important role in how you feel about yourself and look great, feel great and yeah. all of those things. So it's a natural tie for us. I'm very excited, first of all, on, on the journey that we are uh, taking in, 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 in the LEGO group up a play. We're, we're exploring different areas on how to play physical, digital, uh, passion points, making sure that we listen to our audiences, making sure that we have new products. So I'm very excited about that, but probably where we're putting our biggest effort now is to, to celebrate play more in yeah. the stores. We Great. know that uh, if we want to inspire the builders of tomorrow, Play is a way to do the right. We all play and imagine sustainable cities. We all imagine playing, you know, and building fantastic parks. And that comes through the Lego brick. So I'm, I'm ex very excited about all the new uh, upcoming uh, activities that we have in play. I'm so excited about getting the world more aware of the Goodwill mission and social impact at scale, first and foremost. It's incredible the legacy of this nonprofit network. Uh, being able to divert over three billion pounds last year alone from landfills, as well as the social impact locally through job placement and training, is such an important brand message that leveraging that purpose, I call it a love brand, an affinity brand, um, really makes our job easier because we're not trying to create a new community, we're activating community that already exists.
This is a great ballroom. Thanks for throwing the party. I feel like Leo, you know who I'm talking about. Everything's fabulous. The venue's amazing. Yeah. And the most important thing is amazing people. Okay. Awesome job, Rethink. I love you guys. Credit to the whole Rethink retail team. This is an amazing event and an amazing organization to be part of. Thank you, Rethink Retail, for everything you do.